something that is a great concern in our society. It's a season and a reason no, for I'm everything. Saying, I'm going above and beyond, so I'm not going to go above and beyond. That's and what we're talking about. No, 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 no. Six. You know right from wrong. You know how you Why felt. Would you caused that on someone. We're back, and as I said before we took our little mini break, I was going to come back and give Josette 10 seconds to talk about Money Matters, and I was going to give Adrian 15 seconds, and I'm sure that she's going to talk over 10 seconds, but I want y'all out there counting with mm -hmm. me. I want y'all to let me know. Send me a signal. Go. Okay. So the first one is money is hard to earn. We must say no to things. Money should be fun to spend. That's where you learn to allocate and budget for things you want to do or buy. You know, those vacations, that beer, those cigarettes. Beer, cigarettes. Yeah. Those are things you don't need. Money is not important. It's what you do with it. Know that you must work hard, but learn to uh, <laughs> She's over time. You see, this, you see this hand? Money is supposed to be <laughs> Stop it! Supposed to be feared, not I mean not feared or hated and not loved too much. Know when money is used properly and if you make money, you should give some of it away. I gotta learn how to do that too. Okay, and your, your time is five up. Okay. She went over, so Adrian, I'm gonna give you a little more time. It's, I don't even need all that time. Okay, my, my thing is uh, about, someone was asking a question about how do you determine how much money to give your child as an allowance? Now, you have children. I do. And they get allowances. They do. So how did you determine how much to give them and what lessons? How do you teach your children lessons on saving and money management and the importance of it? Now, you know, that, that's a really great question. Put because on the seat. <laughs> you know, all of my children, they have chores to do. Um, Brittany is the oldest, and she's responsible for the kitchen. And she has to do the kitchen every single day. Every night. For seven people? Yeah, but, I mean, okay, we use paper products. We use paper plates. We use plastic forks and utensils. So she doesn't have that much to do, and I try to clean up as I cook. So it's not a problem. But she gets a $20 allowance. A week? Every two weeks. She has a 16-year-old almost? Yeah. $20 every two weeks? $20. And well, oh, I, wow. I, I every pay period. So <laughs> my pay period and Michael's pay period, she'll get $20. From each so, of right. So oh, it ends okay. up being okay. like $80 okay. a month. Mm -hmm. Okay. Christian is responsible for the trash. He gets $10. Now, how old is Christian? Christian is 12. Okay. Caleb is responsible for assisting with the trash, and then he has to do little things in the restroom and so on and so forth. And he'll get $5. Now, when things don't get done, your money gets deducted. Cause whatever I have to do, I can I need to get paid too. But how do you determine where to start with that? What do you mean? Uh, deducting? No, not the deducting. Is anyone counting? How did you determine she gave me more time? Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is how I did it. I did it like two dollars a day. Like Brittany is two dollars a day, mm -hmm. you know, in the in the two week time frame. Mm -hmm. So the weekends don't really count because I'm home and I and I do things and I help out. So she's not really responsible. So that's five days. Okay. Now remind you that she's talking. I just asked the question. Okay. But, but she's, she's baiting talking. me. Right. But in she's it, baiting right. me. So yeah. how uh, how what can you say to your children though to teach them how to manage their money so that they will not fall into pitfalls that some of the adults have fallen into? Okay. Well, you know, I'm going to tell you straight up, like Caleb was playing baseball and, and, and one of the parents said that he would give whoever hit a home run $100, uh, $50, $50. So Caleb hits two home runs, so he won $100 that night. So Caleb knows he has this $100. Mm -hmm. So he has to make decisions about what he wants to do with this $100. So he's holding on to it, holding on to it. So finally he decides he wants to buy a bike. So he goes and he assesses the situation, determines which bike he wants to buy, and you know what the cost is going to be and how much he's going to have left. So then he's aware of what's left and he has to make decisions. He has a little prepaid phone because he wanted to compete with everybody in the house. You know, the, the oldest child has a phone, Christian has a phone, because they play sports and sometimes they are, you know, at the facility and they have to call me. So I needed to make him aware, well, Caleb, you're going to have to pay 
for those things that you want. So he had to make a decision as to whether or not it was really worth that for him. And he's eight. And he was actually counting what kind of money was going to be left. And they want to hang on to this money. They, mm -hmm. Christian saves his money. He says, you know, I want to save. There's something big I want to do. So he's counting and he's mm -hmm. wanting change. And, and I make them actually use their money to make purchases because they think that parents are in a, a flowing well. Mm -hmm. And as long as it's your money they're spending, they don't care. But when it becomes their money, then some things are not important enough to them to spend it. Well, I so. think that was a good lesson. Take it, take it from me. A mom, been there, done that. I want to give you kudos, girl. You're Yay. doing a great job. Yay. Yay. Fun, Is lady. she lying to me? Do you think she's really telling me the truth that she's really proud of me? I did I mean? lie. I did not lie. Everybody else out, well, y'all may be lying, but I didn't lie. All right, she didn't I lie. She's telling truth. me that she didn't lie, but is she omitting something important? I didn't omit anything either. I told it like a T I S T. <laughs> if you hadn't noticed, I was trying to, you know, lead into our topic because um, I'm sure you all know by now that our topic for tonight is Did You Lie? And I know that a lot of you out there are wondering, okay, what in the world could they possibly have to say about Did You Lie? If you lie, so what? Well, you know, we. Oh, nothing. <laughs> we got into this really heated discussion about the topic, did you lie? Because um, I was having a, a conversation with a friend of mine, and she was talking about um, the fact that she's in a relationship with someone, and there was some information that she had chosen not to particularly share with that individual because it wasn't really necessary, that the person was actually now attracted to them as they are, and some of the things that had gone on in their past, it wasn't, it wasn't a need to really share that information. And personally, I, th I had a problem with that because I, I felt like that was lying by omission that you, it, when you're involved with someone or when you're in a relationship or married to someone, that you really need to disclose those factors uh, that are pertinent to your life because you deny that person the opportunity to make a choice or a decision when you omit information. But why would somebody, why? how is it, I mean, if, if you're not asking me the question and because I didn't say it, how would it be a lie? It is a lie. By omission, she said that, Josette. Did you not listen right, to her? Right, but omission, meaning you leaving out something. I, I, I did if not. If I ask you, if I ask you, so, tell me about yourself. Tell me, tell me about you. I, I want to okay, know. That's a broad question. It is a broad question, but if you omitted some stuff, you lie. If you if you're getting ready to get married to somebody, this person asks you to marry, or you all are dating or what have you, and you know you've been out there on the corner for forty years. <laughs> you've Why been on that corner 40 for years? forty years. How old were you when you get married? Well, whatever. She knows somebody. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you've been doing everything from A to Z and back again. You mean to tell me you would not disclose? to that person who you it was about to take you on as their most intimate partner that you've been on the corner for 40 years there's a lot of potential packed in that right it, I mean it's just downright wrong and then you know when we start talking and we you know I'm trying to keep it not so intense but the reality is when you start talking about men on the down low you know, and then we get mad about that stuff. You want to say, you want to get mad because, you know, he had a secret life and he didn't lie. You didn't ask him, are you involved with another man? But because he didn't tell you, you get mad and you feel betrayed by that. What is the difference between that and, or is that oh a secret? Oh my God. Oh, wait a minute. I'm just or would you just call that a secret? But it's is a, that a lie a or a secret? A secret, a lie by omission is the same thing. Okay, okay, we're talking about playing on words. He was, what if he was went to to a church and he had that you know change kind of thing I mean then you but well, why wouldn't you tell why? but there because, could be, because that's a testimony there could be some repercussions though that could come up 
from what has happened in the past. There could be. Right. And we're potentially. Gonna, we we have to go to a break. But that's we why have to, you go to a doctor before you, you know. Well, that's not the only possible we, repercussion. But anyhow, but, take, but it, take but a but break. The, take we're going to take a break. But when we come back, we're going to talk more about this topic because I know that you all out there have some strong opinions about that. And some of you got some lies by omission secrets, out there. Secrets. We're not going to call it secrets. It's a lie. <laughs> so when we come back, we're going to talk about those things that you hiding in your closet that you need to share. We'll be right back.